Hello, this is a sample of curve sewing. We're going to do two types of curve sewing. You should already have uh, this pattern cut out, but if you don't, I have a PDF um, link on this that you can copy this pattern and um, cut it out for yourself. Uh, you just cut one of each piece and you have to be aware that these pieces are not the same. You can see where uh, this piece has a little overlap there and on this side it has a little overlap there. And that's because these pieces fit like this. And so that is not, you can't use the same shape. Now I've already cut these pieces out and I have them here and I want you to see that uh, how, how they fit. They're fitting into each other and I already marked my stitching line on the back of these pieces and so you know that when we sew things we sew with right sides together. So I've got to put this right side to this right side. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to turn it over right there to begin with and I'm going to pin that in place. Okay. Now you're going to see as you're trying to put this around that you're putting an odd shape onto a different shape. It's just two different shapes. And you'll see that the fabric wants to start resisting. And so what I do sometimes to help out with that resistance is that I clip uh, that edge almost to the seam line and you see I mark the seam line so I know how far I should go and everywhere where it's got a curve that's um, going in I just um, go ahead and give it a little clip okay you're gonna have to do the same thing to this other side that's going in and so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now I'm gonna go ahead and clip around that curve about half inch or so. Uh, my, my clips are a little slanted but it'll be okay. Okay so now I've done that and now I can continue to pin. I'm going to pin and you, you see how that as I'm pinning that the uh, line that the, the edge of the fabric is spreading out and we want it to happen. We want to give them that ease. I'm going to continue to pin along the seam line. And you'll notice that when I get to this side, when I have the opposite happening, I'm having to um, spread out the other side. So yeah, I've got a lot of pins here because I want you to see what's happening. See now this side has to fit along to here. So I'm going to pin the edge, the ends, and fit the rest of the fabric in its place. So I'm fitting that in. And then I can fit the rest of this around the curve where it goes and pin it. Notice the back side is now spreading out. At that point, I can go ahead and begin stitching. So I'm going to bring my machine forward a little bit where you might be able to see it. I'm going to start where I started pinning. I'm going to put it under my machine at the half inch because I've got half inch seam allowance. I'm going to start my thread just putting the, the thread under and then I'm going to begin to sew. At the beginning I'm going to do a little bit of a back stitch and then go forward. And I'm stitching on my stitch line or using the guide on the machine. And I'm removing the pins as I go through. I notice that there's a little bit of a curve spot. Notice that I'm gathering the fabric on the left so that you can kind of have a clear sewing path. <clears throat> I 
and you continue to the end making sure there's the fabric is not bunching underneath especially on this little side here because you see the fabric wants to fold I get to the end and I back stitch I lift my needle up and trim my threads okay. and then once we've done that we have to press it So we're just going to take and we're going to season the stitches a little bit. And there's no threads there. And then we're going to want to open it up. And you're going to find that it should separate nicely. You're going to have to open up all the little uh, pieces. And you spread your seam flat and you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. You'll see that it kind of does a little bit of a bunching. And that's where you can do notches. And so the front of it should look Pretty similar to that. Okay, that's what you're. I'm gonna move this out a little bit so that you can see better that I uh, stitched, uh, pressed the seams open, and you see where there's folds there. If I don't want that to appear on the other side, I will notch it. And what I mean by a notch is create what's happening on the other side. And pretty much just cutting that piece out anytime that it bunches so that when you have it on the other side that it lays flat. I see some happening on this side too. So I can just cut those notches out. So that it lays flat. So that when you have it on this side, you don't feel those little spots where it has a bunch. And that's your curve sewing sample. Now I'm going to show you another type of curve. Right. In this case, I just took the number two piece and, and cut it twice. And I'm going to pretend that this is really the edge of the garment. So if that's the case, again, you can pin it or not, whatever you decide to do. I didn't mark the seam allowance. I'm just going to use the seam allowance on the machine. Just a little bit to keep it in place. Bring the machine back. I'm going to back stitch on the end. to stay along that half inch mark on the machine. Now in this case it's going to be a little different because this is the edge of something. 
we have to go ahead and, and look at this uh, and see how that this falls. Um, first thing I say, I know that this seam is going to be tucked in here. And if you'll see that this seam, this little seam allowance here is resisting laying flat and staying. So I know that I'm going to have to clip here. And then I've got this other curve here. And when I turn this back, I see that it wants to make little bunches. So I know that I'm going to have to notch this area so I can go ahead and give it a few notches. And so that when I turn it in, it lays. So when I turn it in, I can see that it's laying flat and doing what it's supposed to do. So now in this case, I'm going to turn this inside out. And I'm going to press my seams flat. So I've got to get to the iron again. I'm going to turn it over. You can press the inside of the seam if you want, but I'm just going to go straight to the outside. And you can, you know, kind of make sure your seam is pulled out all the way. It's not pulled out all the way. If it's not pulled out all the way, it will make a little um, fold like thing. You, if it's supposed to be round, you want it round. I guess. there you've got the edge of your dar garment. It's pressed. The inside seam allowance is not pulling and making this look funky, but it lays flat on there. And so there is a different type of curves.